Hello and welcome to Trains in TV. In today's video, we're going to give you an update on the Harrogate Loop. Now, it's been some time since we did a video on the route, and I felt, um, even though it has been a while, it's time to give you a update report on what's going on. All has not been forgotten about. Plenty has been going on. Um, myself, I haven't done as much as I'd like to have done, but I've been working on other projects, such as the Cumbrian Coast Route. But Lewis has been working away. Um, as and when he can and he's done quite a bit now i think the last video we did featured um the run from around about either milford junction or sherburn in elmer and that went down to york this video is going to show you the progress on the leeds direct line so we are at leeds leeds has had a bit of work done to it it's not fully custom though no, it's uh it's still kit bash um onto what the existing canopies were but it looks a bit more flushed out, which is a good thing. Um, there will be a slight gap in the scenery, so that'll be a bit of a cut scene um, as we leave Neville Hill and um, approach towards Micklefield. But there is still plenty to see and show and talk about along the way. So let me take you for a look at what's being done. So we are at Leeds currently. Leeds itself has had quite a revamp. Doesn't look so kooju anymore. It looks a lot more like a city. Um, the skyline has been totally remodelled, and hopefully you guys can see the difference. Um, it's, it's, it's had quite a lot of work done, really. If you take a look at um, the assets, there's a lot of Liverpool, Manchester stuff, and so a good amount of city stuff. Still a few odd bits knocking about, but it's huge. It's a huge revamp and facelift, and it was massively needed, really. Um, if I go in this direction. We head out towards, this is like going towards Harrogate Way, if you will, and towards like in the Doncaster direction and, and um, the depot over here as well at Holbeck. So if we leave this station now, you can see the car park's been revamped. It's been fully redone. Much better, a lot nicer as well. Um, Lewis did all this sort of, I think it was done actually before we did our multiplayer goal. So if anyone of you caught that, uh, you'll have seen a bit of this already. So if you haven't seen that, then obviously it's all new to you. So we're not going to go in that direction because that's going towards um, Harrogate and that, and that section hasn't been touched. That will come eventually. It's not going to be anytime soon. Um, I don't think that section to Harrogate will be done for that release. But the revamp in itself has been done from York up to Starbeck, I think, I believe now. That's been done by myself. Again, I haven't had as much time to play on that as much as I'd like to have done. But again... I'm hoping that at least to get to Harrogate on that side of um, the route for our next release, and then we'll just plod on and fill in the gaps, revamp the gap, if you will, as and when we can. But it means there'll be a lot of scenery to play with and drive along. So this is new. This is the depot at Holbeck. So this had, like, very basic scenery back in uh, the first release, but this has fully been redone and... Fully purpose usable now. It's all ready to go for scenar uh, scen scenarios. Scenarios. Um, it looks like a depot. Finally, um, there's also a section of track which you can uh, come out of the depot because you have to come do a manoeuvre which comes this way out, and then it goes down here. And there's a limit of shunt signal somewhere around here. Which is on this bend. So this is as far as you can go when you do your shunt manoeuvres coming out of the depot and then you go back again into Leeds. Uh, the scenery itself literally ends there. So there's just enough to see when you come and do a scenario down here. But as you see, it's uh, quite a lot of work to go into this to get all the uh, the motorway stuff in. I hope you guys uh, can agree with me that Lewis has done an absolute um, superb job on that. Uh, can't take any credit because it haven't. It was not my work. Lewis has worked very hard on this, and I'm very, very grateful for him in doing so as well. Without Lewis, this project probably wouldn't have ever progressed any further than what it has done. Like, it probably would have uh, ended at where it is on the first uh, release version, and uh, we'd never seen any more work. So again, without Lewis, uh, we wouldn't have what we've got now. Right, so uh, inside the station itself, still some bits to do. We've got some milk bottles in here yet. These need changing to different benches. I know about them. They've been like that since first release. 
don't know why it happened, but it did. Um, this has all been redone, and it's got a lot more scenery in it now, so it's actually got like staircases and stuff like that. Um, canopies themselves aren't quite right for the area, but again, it fleshes it out a bit more and gives it a bit more um, scenery, if you will, word that I'm looking for, uh, and that as well. That was never there, so that's all in. Anyway, let's get into our train. Well, class 150. So, hello driver, you're currently sat at Leeds Station. About to start your stopping service to York. You will be stopping at all stations on the direct line, except for Church Fenton. Begin by opening your doors. Alright, doors are open. Instrument lights on. Take the no, actually no. We'll leave that on because we've got a red signal. Right, so we want that, that, that. Well, that don't make any much difference. We've got an LED uh, dot matrix. I don't think it really does anything to me. There we go. Yeah, we're good to go there. So you'll see as well, top left corner, work in progress. Um, this route will be ready when it's ready. There's no set date, so there's... I know as many people are keen, there's no point asking us as and when it's going to be ready. It's just, it's getting worked on, it's not been left and forgotten about. Work's actually happening daily almost now. Um, you can actually catch Lewis doing streams as well. What I'll do is I'm going to pop his link in the description. Because you can see some of his past stuff, and you can, uh, obviously if you want to give him a follow, you will get a notification when he goes live and if you want to come and uh, ask him any questions whilst he's working away then uh, feel free to do so six nine one and there right we've got a yellow we've got a dsd on as well dvd if you will on this one get some windows open because it's a lovely day Get off now So I've worked out approximately the gap is about 5.7 miles of missing scenery up to now. So what you're going to see is the whole revamp of the departure heading north, or east to north if you will, um, out of Leeds. Uh, this revamp has been done up to Marsh Lane, but now Neville Hill itself hasn't actually had any work done yet, but that will happen uh, once everything is up to there, and then it'll start getting a good tidy up and uh, bring it in line with everything else. Playing with the idea of redoing the OH League as well, but that is uh, to be decided and may and may not. Five into a thirty five quite soon. So itself as well, um, I'm just going to do that here a second because you can see the whole viaduct has had a full redo. Um, it's all got the arches and stuff filled in now as well. It looks much nicer than the loft that was in there originally. So again, that's another big yes. Um, all this has been redone, all new roads been placed in around here as well, so that's all been updated. Nice new bus station. Much better. But yes, it's had a it's had all the work done. I'm looking forward to getting the full scenery in there, we can actually give it a good run. And uh, start getting some scenarios together properly. I fully expect this scenario will come in with the route as well, it's, it's got AI. Um, so I don't see why it won't be added in. Here's the first snow that's been built on the direct line, so. First of many. <laughs> so, our last video as well, what happened was um, a good section of the scenery from Church Fenton was done up to near Middlefield. A bit short on the stream. And um, after that, it went quiet for me. It was obviously absolutely crazy around Christmas uh, with Lewis's work. So we had as uh, much time as it liked to have done uh, the work. But again, it's back in full swing now, happy days.
the detail around it is massively changed. It's like a different route <laughs> when you look at all this with all the clutter. Could very well make a, uh, a nice little screenshot. May, it may not. So we've just got to the limits of the revamp. So the limits being uh, the revamp coming out of Leeds for now. We're head towards Neville Hill Depot. Uh, at the moment, that hasn't actually seen the revamp take place yet. That will happen when the scenery reaches from the north end to the top end of Neville Hill. And then uh, we'll expect a full rebuild, or at least bring it up to standards at least. Um, as best as uh, it can be done within what's already there. Unless Lewis decides to do the whole thing, I don't quite know. Uh, we haven't quite spoken what's going to probably happen there yet. Uh, it is looking a little bit uh, aged badly, um, this area, unfortunately. But I look forward to seeing what Lewis does with it, as with all of his work so far. Um, can't wait for you guys to get hold of it and have a play. So we're just passing the here at the depot there now, some HSTs in there as well. You got on the, um, the depot there. It's just really dated Kuju assets, really. Um, that just don't fit the area really for my liking. It doesn't even look anything like it really. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing what's been done with this. And then obviously they got the yards on this side as well. Probably don't need too much work to be found. I think it was a bit of a revamp on the uh, the foliage and some of the buildings here more likely. Uh, other than that, not bad at all really. On that side of things. So we're leaving the end of the scenery for this part of the, uh, the run. There'll be a cut, sort of cut scene in a moment and you'll join the train just to the south of Micklefield. So you join me back on the scenery once again and we are on the descent into Micklefield on the 150, uh, 150 sorry, gradient. We've just obviously We've done a couple of stations that you haven't seen yet because the scene is not there. So the stations we've missed out uh, on this video are Crossgates, Garforth and East Garforth. I'll show you the sort of distance between this station and the one behind. It's not a lot really. But again, as I say, it's literally about five to six miles in terms of the gap and the scenery. This being the newest section of the route, we shared this on Facebook um, a couple of days ago. It seemed to be taken quite nicely. There's uh, some good reacts and stuff like that on Facebook, which is good. Some nice comments as well. People can't wait to play it, which is what we like to hear. So I'll take you for a little look around it as well. Once we arrive. I've never stopped here, it's my first time stopping here properly on the route. I've done drive throughs but never stopped at the stations, as there's never been any stations here. Alright, so let me just give it a quick pause. So, welcome to Micklefield. Plenty of scenery, nice and flushed out, there's all sorts to see. Nice uh, wind farm going on over in the distance as well, which is quite nice uh, with the background. Little park and stuff as well. Football pitch, quite cool. Yeah, and stuff over there. Just nice little scenes like this that you got the cross in here as well. Some nice screenshots when the uh, when units and stuff are going by. Little walkways as well. You can sort of like just explore yourself down to the lanes and stuff like that. Little works uh, over there as well. I had a little fly through earlier. I, I, I spotted this cool little scene. So this is like some blocks in the road stopping, I assume, unwanted people uh, of any sort to go down there. You fly tipping and stuff like that. So they've been put there to stop people getting in um, and getting anywhere near the, the, the line, I would have thought. It's all this like open land here. Quite cool. So, yeah, the scenery obviously ends here currently. 
won't be far. I and mean, you can see Lewis has already started. I think he did this today actually on his stream. He's, he's actually started doing stuff in the background. There's like a garden centre or something, like a nur like plant nursery or something over there. So East Garforth is the car. It's literally there somewhere. <laughs> it's just disappeared, but it's literally on this curve. Well, it's not far at all. Anyway, we'll get back over here and we'll have a look around what else he's been up to. Farms and stuff. Mainly, it's, it's fields. It's quite an easy set, section of route uh, on this end. Getting up that way, it's obviously going to get built up as you go into Leeds. But uh, at this moment, it's still pretty, pretty uh, quiet in terms of uh, housing, really. It's quite a massive place. So you've got the station. This one's not a custom. It's, uh, this has been a kit bash, but... It, to me, it's decent and uh, to call as a kit bash. I like it. Hope you guys do as well. It certainly looks like Micklefield. I mean, I've been through here plenty of times and stuff. Got the cab rides and stuff as well, which help. Staircase down there. As you get away from the uh, track, it obviously the detail goes down to help on FPS as you get towards the track. As with all the Lewis's stuff, you get the you get the detail. Bus stop going on there. So again, same again. This side it starts um, spinning out this way. You have got the I think it's the A one M one A one. Goes over the top of here as well. And you've got the line that splits off. Then to we're going to be taking the left hand side line towards York. You've got the line which goes towards um, Gaskin Wood and then on to Selby and Hull. Um, there's quite a bit of scenery done there. It's not fully done up to Gaskin Wood yet, but um, that will have the full run up to Gaskin Wood for now and until it goes further towards Selby. Um, on that. And that's that. This, uh, the junction as well itself actually got relayed a, a few weeks ago to accommodate the newer track alignment that's uh, been done here. I think it allows for higher speed in the curve. Quite a, it's quite an eased curve. It's not very tight on the point work. But it's fifteen point eight two miles from here to York. We're not stopping anymore. This uh, scenario itself was a stopping uh, service on all stations apart from Church Fenton on the direct run. And it's uh, it was straight through to York. So what you'll see here is uh, new stuff on the video because I haven't shown on video. I've done part of this section on the stream. But again, this bit hasn't been shown on stream or video yet. Apart from obviously Lucy's stream where he's been showing off. But it's the first for TSTV going down here with scenery. And obviously been working on the route for many, many years on the first section. It's great to finally be able to start doing this. Never thought it'd ever happen, to be honest. I really never did. Plenty of uh, plenty of clutter going on as you can see as well. It's uh, well fleshed out with that. Giving that real feel for the line. All been done with the cab ride as well. So basically what you see on the cab ride is what you're going to see on the track side. So as well, if I go out here and pause for a second, you can just see how close the actual Selby line runs in uh, with this. It, it runs for quite a distance, that's why this has actually had quite a lot done to it because it's so close to the actual direct line itself. I think the scenery sort of fizzles out here for a short while, and then it comes back in again later on when we get towards um, Milford Junction area in Gaspy Wood. Because we've got the cross section where the track goes underneath and goes over each other. I think on where the stream once uh, was done, we ran the opposite direction towards Leeds, and this is sort of where we got to scenery-wise. So. People may have seen this bit on the stream, but never on a video. All the bridge sections there as well, just the abutments that have been left in the embanking.
75 mile hour from top speed on this unit as well, so we'll not exceed that. <clears throat> so the, the plan of attack as well in terms of release, what we were going to do was we were going to do York to Milford Junction and Gaskin Wood as a release and then we're going to do the direct line as a separate release. Things have changed, we're going to do it as a whole release now so we'll do everything in one hit. Um, just apart from the small section of revamp on the original Harrogate loop won't be there but there'll be plenty for you to play with in the meantime to keep you busy. So we'll have extra scenarios on top of the ones we've already made for the first, for the original V2. And this will be V3 but it's now a one big V2 release. The route itself will go further as well after V2. We've um, got plans and stuff to go towards the power stations such as um, Nothingly, Berry Bridge and another one which I can't, uh, is it Drax I think it is. Um, they're all sort of in the same vicinity of each other, not far apart so it makes sense to get them in. And you can do some stuff from North and Junction then as well. Also Selby's on the cards as well so you have to do all these Selby runs and stuff and also York to Selby. In itself it becomes quite a nice network. You can see obviously the main track itself is still as it is. Which Selby's is in. So the Milford Junction goes as far as Mount Fryston down there at the south part there. Sort of just builds out every so often. Going to Church Fenton. Far away now. It's nice as well as probably because you get a decent high speed run if you're on certain units. Like if you get your voyages and stuff and 158s or something, you can do top speed uh, running. It's quite a fast section. And then you get up to the East Coast now, you can obviously, depending on what you're driving, you can open up even more. So we're just coming up to Little Fenton, sort of in, on the right side of this area. Church Fenton just around the bend. Any tracks moving that hasn't been done will be uh, tied up for the lease as well. Church Fenton. Uh, the station itself, we haven't got the full custom in there yet. Uh, we may have shown this at some point. We've got the new platform in that Callum did for us a bit back. Uh, it's not fully tied up yet. I need to move some stuff around. Hopefully we'll be getting... When we can actually get there, or when Mark can get here, once lockdown and everything's finished, um, Mark can be doing some research pictures so that we can get a full um, station, well, the building that goes on the side, I think there's a restaurant sort of pub thing and stuff going on, there's a walkway that attaches up, so we'll get a new bridge and stuff, and everything will sort of slot in nicely uh, down the line. Not sure when that's going to happen though. If it's not there in time for when we get to release, some kit bashing will probably go back in place just for now, but... Um, Hopefully down the line we'll be able to sort that out. The lines on the right hand side are coming from Milford Junction, Gaskin Wood, Sherbin Elmet. Um, also services from Sheffield and two Sheffield do that direct that one as well. Also stuff that comes in from Hull comes in down that way also. So we are on the on the fast lines. Which bypasses all scale station, which is on the slow. There used to be a, well, a little bit of history here for you, if I can figure out where it was. Um, there used to be a line that sort of took off from here, and it met up with Harrogate. It went through Tadcaster. I think it sort of follows this line here and goes around here. So it ran through Tadcaster and uh, eventually ran up and met up with the line, if I show you on the map. So we're here. Sort of went across through the middle and joined up here where the sharp curve is at Crimple Viaduct. So originally, the line used to go straight across in this direction into a tunnel, just sort of to the uh, sort of southeast of the line. There was a tunnel portal. You can't see mass. I'm waving it around like you can see it, but picture the track going sort of like diagonal from the top down, if you will, and going curving down to the bottom towards Leeds. The line carried on into a tunnel. 
and then carried on down that line. I think it's shut in the uh, 60s with the beach and stuff like that. But a bit of a bit of history there for you. People may not have known that. It's all existing stuff that you guys probably will have seen in the previous videos, but if you haven't, then obviously it's all new for you if you've not seen this part of the route. This was done during the first lockdown. So the whole section was sort of finished mid to back end of summer. Um, it was literally proper ploughed for working because it, it was obviously it was filled with um, lockdown. So his, his lockdown hobby before he sort of reached out for us, he'd always started working on it. And then he approached us asking, would we have any use? Would we like to sort of like merge it up together for that? Like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> of course. Otherwise we'd never got anywhere. So, again, happy days indeed that Lewis did contact us. I always say this. And obviously it's just grown, it's just grown over and over over time so that we added in the revamp to the original part as well. Some great ideas we bounce off each other as well. Certainly a vital part of the OTS team. We've just gone past the little scalf uh, just back there on the right side. Which is the last station which we'll pass before we reach York as well. Shortly be joining up with the East Coast Main Line on the, on the right side, uh, which comes in from Hamilton off to the Doncaster direction. Of course, heads fully north to Scotland. East Coast Main Line this route for yourselves and just north of Skelton Junction. There's a, there's a slight section of feeder track, obviously, for AI and stuff to get uh, brought in busy scenarios. Same again with the East Coast Main Line, and then obviously, yeah, we hope that that section will run down to Hamilton, where the line turns off to go to Selby in that direction. We're just approaching Colton Junction, one of my favourite hotspots, and many other people's hotspot as well uh, when coming to spot trains. Perfect, uh, perfect prime viewing. If you've never been here before, I fully recommend it when obviously lockdown never been ended and restrictions ease. You just park, park yourself up here. 91's just gone down there as well. But yeah, you get a perfect viewing of two lines that merge or that leave each other, which uh, direction. It's so busy, it's a brilliant, good mixture of uh, traffic as well. See the nice ones, he's probably gone down there. We might see when we get to York or Fork. We now uh, enter the OH League section. Again, oh, at some point I can revisit the OH League and give it a, a revamp. I'm working on OH League at the minute on the Cumbrian Coast merged route now. Um, it's been merged with the West Coast Open Shaft and Furnace line. Uh, which was done by Filter. Obviously, it uses the, uh, the core West Coast Mail Island shop and it was extended down to uh, towards Barrow. It was merged with his route. It was full running uh, up to Preston. I've been doing I've been revamping now actually. I've been doing all that the last week or so. Getting there, not far. In terms of getting all the mast in place, I'm sort of, I've come from Preston about junction up to where uh, the line turns off to Morecambe. And then uh, I'm just going to get down just to north of Carforth and start putting the knitting in them and all the actual little bits of detail get that done so that's uh, another thing that we'll be at some point showing off on videos when we get it all in place all sorts going on at OTS and obviously Mark's got his stuff going on as well as you keep seeing his uh, building series videos keep popping up every few days we're all very busy trying to get content out and done ready for you guys
this one too far from Copland Fort. Just about to see the back end of the 91 right down the distance. Somewhere around Askin Bar, that was Copper Fort there as well, the crossing. Clutching three miles to York now as well, guys. Some stopping service on the far lines over there, that must be possibly a Selby or Hull direct. Bound service or something like that. With a lovely, lovely drive down to where we are heading to York. Get that last little bit in and it'd be a good, I would say, 20 or so more miles of driving to um, get myself completed to York. And also open up doing the. Uh... Oh! What have we got here? We've got all them fan dangled set of couplers, that's weird because I ran this through RW Tools and it was literally nothing was missing. That's quite bizarre. We've got a set of couplers, um, plus and direct wagons. God knows what I was missing there, but nothing flagged up. Never mind. TS for you. the small model railway engineers club actually got relayed this uh, quite recently better track uh, model fully usable it's not the correct gauge by no means but i think this is correct gauge this is actually a bit bigger than what it is it's meant to, this is meant to be one of the little tracks that it's sort of like the, the carriage sort of like drop down and hang off either side of the uh, rails which you see but We've made it so it's got, it's got track there. It's not really meant to be usable, but if you wish to have a little whiz around on a little narrow gauge train, then uh, you can obviously fill your boots on that one. It'll be quite cool. Might even do a knob your video, to be honest. <laughs> no signaling. I don't have, actually know if it'll work properly, but it's there for the visuals more than anything. Just getting, uh, we're getting red signal to York there. Just loading York in, it's uh, just a little bit stutchy on my PC. I think it's got some of throttling on my PC because it stutters more than it should do, I think. I'm not sure if it's any graphics card that may be the bottleneck. What I've got, I could be talking rubbish as per usual, but. Someone did actually raise that once in one of my comments that the, uh, the GPU could be the bottleneck against all my other components. Certainly something to look at though anyway. So we are being held just outside of York for some thing to pass. Not no idea what we'll, we'll we'll soon find out, no doubt. Just gonna double check my routing. There we go, it's just flicked over the waiting for the uh, 91 to go through balls of it. I 
Platform 7 we're going to be uh, popping this into. Bert, you're knocking around somewhere, there it is. line of always York goes that way. The freight line. Now we're rail rock there as well but signal sensor. Now in the RHST going over there everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the video as well guys and thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future videos. Catch us at Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash trainsim underscore TV. We're on regularly, uh, like, usually twice a week. Usually sort of like, sort of mix it up here and there, but do keep an eye out on Facebook and our YouTube community section. We'll bring you further updates to this as and when we get them, uh, when there's more substantial uh, running stuff to show you. Thank you ever so much once again guys, take care and we'll see you on that next video, bye for now.